Hey guys, it's your girl Jan. Welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video with me. And if you are interested in seeing how I did these on myself, of course, I'm not a professional, so they're not spot on or perfect. But if you guys want to see how I got the cloudy effect at the bottom with these brown tips, please keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm starting with freshly washed hands and on this specific finger that we will be prepping for a demonstration today, I'm just clipping it with a nail clip and then I'm going in with a 100-180 file just to make the nail a little bit more uh, rigid so it will hold the poly gel a little better. Now I'm going in with an alcohol pad that I got from Maravon. They come with like 20 in it and I love these a lot but you can just use uh, a napkin and some alcohol but this works really good as well. So I'm using that currently just to kind of clean up the dust from the filing and I'm going in with an acid-free primer that I got in a Maravon kit as well and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Okay guys, so I'm done currently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a nail form and I usually measure my nail forms. So I have a bunch of nail forms here as you guys can see. And usually what I do is I measure my nail and then from there I decide which finger goes with what nail form. Um, so for this finger, I'm going to use a 6 for this finger. I was going to repeat the 6 that I use because I also use the 6 for this finger. But it's a little messy, so I think I'm going to change it out because I want to move a little faster. So I'm just going to change out the 6 to another 6. Um, Because the ones that I did pick are a little messy. So I'm just going to go through my nail form, see which one is six, and then I'm just going to use that one. So I did find a six here, and I'm just going to use that. Uh, so let's get into it. So first things first that I want to do is I'm going to grab the uh, Maravon brown poly gel this one is p113 that's the number i'm seeing on it um i'm not a professional so i don't know if that is necessarily relevant relevant but i usually like see where i started already with the nails to see where i should go so i'm thinking i'm probably going to have to go to like this one which is like the second lowish and i'm going to have to start like designing from there Okay, so I'm just going to put the poly gel right there. I hate when my nails are too long, guys. So I put the poly gel in it like this. And then I have some slip solution that I've been using. And I just use this as a tube to get my product. This is my slip solution from Maravon. And I just have my little container here that I put my slip solution in for my nails so I take up some slip solution just like that you can also use alcohol and yeah so that's what I do I always keep it kind of covered with something so it doesn't dry out okay so I'm going to currently use it now and I'm going to use my little brush here it has a brush on one side and a spatula on the other side I'm just using the brush right now and I'm just going to dip it in the sauce the solution so I can move the poly gel because sometimes the poly gel is like really really sticky so you don't really get to like move the poly gel like you'd want to and I realized I put the poly gel on the wrong side guys it was supposed to actually be way down here what am I doing what am I doing Okay, and then I'm just going to pat it out like that 
to see how it could look amongst the other nails. Yeah. And then I keep patting and getting the shape I want. And then I'm going to pat it down. I don't want it to be too thick now. You know what I'm saying, guys? I want it to be like the other nails. So I'm just constantly dipping it in the solution here. And then I'm pushing it up in the middle. I'm pushing it up in the middle. And I'm getting it out. And just like that. I'm ensuring that the corners are also very sharp with the whole um, design that I'm going for. So I just want to ensure it's really, really neat. And it's going to fit the finger. I don't think it's going to fit the finger, so I'm going to push it up a little bit more. Um, my fingers are a little long, so you want to ensure that your finger has space enough, enough space to actually um, try this right up. So there you go. I want to ensure. I think I'm going to put it up a little bit more just to be safe. I'm going to put it a little bit higher. I think I need more sub-solution. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try it on my finger now. See if I have enough space. And I think I do. I think these are a little down too low. So I'm just going to bring them up a bit and ensure they are fine. And then I'm just going to, you know, make it thinner because these are really, really thick. I'm going to go ahead. I'm satisfied now, so I'm going to go ahead and cure the nail. So I'm going to put it under this and cure for 60 seconds. Okay, guys, so before I will be using this Maravon base coat soak off, and I'm just going to do a thin enough layer on it. Um, and fully cover the nail and then I will be curing for 60 seconds okay guys so I took it out and I think it's dry no it's hardened so I'm going to use this which is the P001 polygel it's clear and I'm just going to put it at the lower area of this let's take enough I want the areas to be thin around it, so I don't want to use too much poly gel. I'm going to dip and I'm just going to push it out more in the middle, so more so in the middle, and I'm just going to push it to the sides as well. So it's getting pushed everywhere equally. Also, I realize I kind of messed up a little bit, so. <laughs> I'm trying to correct it because I kind of pushed it out a bit too much to the side. So I'm just trying to fix that now. Mm -hmm. And the clear part doesn't have to be perfect because we are actually doing like this cloudy effect. With the nails, as you can see, we're doing like this little cloudy effect at the bottom, so the clear doesn't have to be 
perfect perfect but it has to be um, applied properly so that's that that's a nail there we're going to go ahead and apply now when we're applying we want to push down the cuticle as much as possible and slowly but surely apply and then when it's like that we're just going to go ahead and dry real real fast you don't want it to be um anything but dried fast at the right time without anything moving or shifting because i don't really have the clips at the bottom so i'm just going to go ahead and dry the nail for 60 seconds okay guys so now you can see that the nail is fully cured and i'm going to remove the nail form slowly and basically i just rack it from side to side until it's off and then now i'm just going to file it to my liking i basically just um doing the same shape but i'm just going down a little shorter because it was really really long and i kind of don't really like long nails i don't know why it always comes to the point of me having long nails when i'm doing poly gel but yeah that's just me practicing and everything but yeah i'm filing down the nail to my liking and yeah i think this will work for now um foiling is the least of my problems right now to be honest um so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you guys how i do the actual nail i did go ahead and add a little bit of gel here because here was like a little bit weird and then i cured it um so if you guys are wondering if there is anything here i will clean it up eventually um so that's that what i'm going to do now guys is show you how i do the design so i'm using this um polish i think it's well known as well they also have their own poly gel line and i'm using lavishly loved which is um the color 019 and i am just going to take a little bit of it and use this as a brush number two and i'm going to take this as a styling brush and i'm going to just take some of the polish off this is also a gel polish ensure you're using a gel polish and then I'm just going to randomly like swirl the designs on the nail down here. Just, just randomly swirl where the clear area is. Just make some random swirls. Um, and I'm going to ensure that it's not touching where it should be touching. So I just swirl it and then I'm going to show you guys how I clean up after and everything as well. Really, and then I'm going to cure when I'm pleased I'm going to cure for like uh, 30 seconds after I'm done guys um, it should look something like this I think I still need to fold this down a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead with my little trusty drill that's a cute pink drill and I am going to use it as a tiny bit here and I'm just going to clean the underneath of the nail I think it's on yeah so I'm just going to ensure that everything under here is smooth and I don't need to do a lot of boiling for this because it's already um, clean and neat So I don't need to do a lot of swelling. I really, really don't need to do a lot of swelling. Then I'm going to turn it off. Oops. And then I'm going to use my top coat here. And just top coat it. Just like that. And I'm also going to top coat the underneath so it looks smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. 
now i'm officially finished guys with this nail and i'm just going to go ahead and do the others and i'll show you guys how i um, cuticle oil my nails and then that will be the end of the video so i'll be back in a sec mm -hmm. 